I am just doing the leveling from here. I know Polaris is right here, so this is going to work. I am using the Move Shoot Move wedge, which is my official wedge now because it has fine-tuned knobs to calibrate, to do adjustments to the right or to the left, the horizontal, horizontal calibration that it's it has been pretty solid so far um, it holds it hold it for hours I'm going to leave it at 60 seconds because that's what I want to try. Um, let me go to EQ mode. It's good on the horizontal position, so it needs to go a little bit higher. Oh my goodness. So now it's time for my... <laughs> move shoot move <laughs> this is the time I mean I am literally right there let's see what happened well how about that <laughs> good deal oh wow let me go to the sky atlas the boats galaxy so let me just go ahead and try the uh, boat's galaxy. Finding object. The wedge in action and that knob is completely out of the way. Yeah, I think the boat's galaxy is probably right. Going to try the 60 seconds. Preparing for image enhancing. Okay, preparing for imaging enhancing. Okay, so we are at 97, 98% and let's see what the image uh, is going to be. And the wind has come down a little bit, so. Out of focus completed. Start enhancing. Come on, give it to me. Let's see what happens. This is 60 seconds, what everybody's talking about. Um, I am even happy if I can get 50% of the frames. I'm not, I'm not expecting 100%. 60 seconds is very difficult for any smart telescope. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Wow. Oh, well, I mean, it's about to do the two minutes, but the, from what I'm seeing from here, it's even better. The phone is just recording very bright. It's about to finish uh, uh, the third minute. Hey, it's me. <laughs> so this is amazing. There it is. And so far it has been uh, 100%. I know I'm going to lose some frames, but I was not expecting this at all. The wedge uh, move, shoot, move is doing great. And I have lights on here around all kinds of things. I'm moving and recording. And Okay, so let's see. Right now we have 32 minutes and that's uh, what it has been stacked. Very good, so this is my last follow-up. It's uh, already midnight and I have, let's see, 53 uh, stack here. The ones that are stacked here look really good. So I am about to finish this imaging session. The move should move uh, wedge work really good. It's, I'm not seeing any problems on start major, you know, tracking or guiding problems. 
that's the cigar galaxy up there. I am impressed the 60 seconds is not bad at all. I mean, it's not a waste of time that I've been reading a lot of comments. I have to disagree on that. It's doing a very good job. I am going to check later and see what happens uh, with the frames. How, what's the percentage that it's going to be usable for further process? Okay, so right now I'm going to check on these frames and I have a total of 56 frames. They seem to be okay. When I zoom in a little bit more, then we're going to start seeing more uh, the stars that are elongated, like uh, every, that will be a bad one. Uh, this one, uh, I can probably use it right now with the, um, great tools and picks inside and blur exterminator um, it may not be a problem I use them all the time with my other uh, telescope so let's just keep counting That's another one that's two. Uh, here's a little round of bad ones. And like I said, the, I have bad uh, scene conditions. Uh, it was a, a clear night, but the conditions on the scene was not the best. So there are four that are really bad ones out of 56 and I can pick two more. So that's a total of six out of uh, 56. So what is the percentage of 56 frames and six were bad? And here we have the formula, number of bad frames. And that takes us to 10.71 of the frames were bad. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> And now let's take a look at the stacked image uh, from the telescope on the FITS format, which is the one that I can see the FITS header and take a look at the information that it's there. It's interesting to see uh, some of the basic information uh, like uh, it's an equatorial mode and the exposure time and seconds. So all that is information that it's there registered in the uh, image but what i really want to see is how many images were stacked and it says 56 stacked frames so it used all of them exposure time uh 60 seconds there you go so it used all of the frames for this stacked image it's just that i'm seeing it differently uh, with my eyes to me those were bad frames so let's take a look at the stacked image from the telescope without any editing and it looks good. And now let's take a look at the stacked image on the JPEG forma format, which is has all the AI enhancement by the telescope. I didn't do anything. That's the one on the right. And here, the one on the left is the stacked image on the FITS format, ready to be processed, which is the one that I am going to do some basic processing, but the one on the right, it's looking good too. So I think this is very successful for 60 seconds <laughs> on a clear night to my eyes, but uh, Astrospheric uh, was saying that the seeing conditions were poor. And after a little while, I noticed it. So big success. I'm going to just go ahead and do a quick editing on the stack image on the fits format because uh, it says that it, it stacked 56 frames out of 56 frames uh, that were taken. So, and then my visual inspection on the blink uh, to my eyes, I will take maybe like four or five out. So in this case, why not? I mean, I'm just going to do this one. So let me just go ahead and start a quick editing process here.
And this is a very simple editing because this is just 56 minutes of data, so I don't have much. On the fits format with no editing at all. So there you go. So now we can compare and I definitely like this one better. Not bad for 56 minutes. That's good.